Hi friends, today in this video we're going to focus on two accidental issues uh, that we usually come across in Microsoft Teams in terms of files. Microsoft Teams an application is much more than a chat or video conferencing or online meeting. It is more of a Teams work space. Uh, consider it as a chat based workspace. So when it comes to uh, a concept of workspace, Teams and channels interface. You know, you know that there is a Teams interface on the Microsoft Teams tab, uh, in which we will create channels uh, for uh, many special purposes, which I have, I have explained in another video. You can see it on the top as a suggested video. You can go and watch uh, the channel and Teams and channel video of Microsoft Teams. Or otherwise, if you are familiar with Teams and channels, you can go ahead and continue watching. When it comes to Teams in Microsoft Teams, we will create multiple channels and each channel will have a default files tab in it and we arrange the files there as you see it in the uh, side of the screen like you know multiple folders and create uh, document libraries you create multiple other things and what happens at times we go and delete files accidentally and later we we think that no we want to recover that file and there is no option that you can easily find or you can find it in microsoft teams as an interface but there is an option to recover the files which are accidentally deleted it is by default available to be recovered in 90 days as a default retention period and uh, this applies uh, for another accidental activity is like we edit files inside teams or especially the office files or only the office file because teams is integrated with the office online product as well so what uh, what it helps is like you will be allowed to open files within teams uh, only the office file when i say office you know microsoft word excel access powerpoint and so forth will be allowed to open in microsoft teams and edit it but the point that to be noted here is like the moment that you start typing anything or deleting anything it gets saved automatically and uh, if you close it and if you reopen and you will not be able to undo those changes what you did multiple people can work on a single file at the same time so that make it makes it more difficult to track the changes and if required for us to return back to a day or an hour before file it is even possible in Microsoft Teams. In this video, I will be focusing as a user, how can you recover a file which is deleted or how can you undo the changes or how can you recover files before the change which has happened to an office uh, document. So without further ado, let us get into the, um, the actual part of the video and understand how can you do it as an end user. So let's open the Teams interface and uh, go to the channel and under the channel in the file files section. So I have two folders. In one folder I have some pictures uploaded and in the other folder I have some of the office documents. So what we will do in this section in the first phase of this video that we will delete some or all of the files from this folder and then we'll recover those deleted files so let's complete the action of deletion it can be accidental or purposeful and the delete operation is completed so now you don't have an option in this interface to restore it so how do we restore the deleted items so on the top of the tabs inside the channel you have got new upload sync and at the the last option is open in a sharepoint this is the button that you have to click and it will take you to a web page. This is from uh, the SharePoint online. So why I mentioning it's like whatever the files that you're saving inside the team in the backend, it is using another product from Microsoft Office 365 called SharePoint online. So each team has a SharePoint site and if you click on the documents, you will see folders for each channel that you created and inside the channel you will find the folders that you created so whatever files that is deleted within a team will be available in the recycle bin of the sharepoint site of 
the respective team. So this is the place from where you are going to restore the deleted files. You can select one or you can select all the files and hit restore button in order to complete the restore process. Now if you navigate back to teams interface and the document folder you will find them all restored. The process is very simple only thing that you need to know how to do it. In the second section of the video we are going to see how can we restore to a previous version of the file. We all do modification to the files within the teams interface it is pretty easy to do it. But you need to know that whenever you make any changes that get saved automatically and if you close the document and that changes becomes permanent. So if you need to undo it you can do it during the edit process but once you close it you can see that the document is modified few seconds ago. So if you open it again you will only find the recent version of the file. So what if we want to restore a previous version of the file to see the changes that we did. So on the file in which you want to recover a previous version on the three dots click open in SharePoint options as we did for the recovery as well and then choose the file for which you want to try a previous version. You will find a button called version history. Click on the version history button and it will display all the changes and the versioning of the current file that we have selected. All the modifications are saved in SharePoint Online with the version name. So you can choose the date or the time that you want to recover the file and click on restore. So the recovering of previous version also considered as a modification to the document so you will find a third version of the file which means we have all the versions of the file saved under SharePoint intact. Now if you open the file you can see that the recent changes are reverted. So you can find the document in its original version. So the process of recovering to a previous version of the document is also very easy when it comes to Microsoft Teams and SharePoint Online. The recovery option is same for OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams because at the back end it is using the same SharePoint platform. So now we have seen how easy it is to recover um, deleted items from Microsoft Teams interface you know um, whether it can be an office document or it can be any other type of documents. This, this gets into the recycle bin of SharePoint online so you can click on open in SharePoint option within the Teams and it will open it in a new browser and you can choose the files that you want to recover. And we have also seen how easily we can restore a file which are which were modified maybe by ourselves or by somebody in the team because as you all know that the team's file saved under the files tab is accessible to all the people who have access to the channel. So team members may also modify the file at the same time which is a feature in teams. So these options becomes very important in a day to day professional or personal life when you are using a Microsoft Teams as an application for collaboration. I hope this video was useful for your um, business or personal life. And if then please do not forget to subscribe the channel and also click on the uh, reminder bell which is available just next to their subscribe button in order for you to get notified about the new videos that I am going to come up with in future. Thank you for watching. We will see you again in a new video very soon.